Welcome back to Fast Money. Pot stocks lighting up this year as legalization gains momentum across the U.S. Just last week, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo said the state is close to moving on recreational use. Meantime, the Senate is set to take up the Safe Banking Act later this week, a bill would, um, which would allow cannabis companies access to the federal banking system and help eliminate the dangers of doing their business in cash. Let's talk more about all this with Charlie Bocktel, the CEO of Cresco Labs. Charlie, great to see you again. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Which is the bigger impact for your business? I mean, you, you have uh, dispensaries all already in, in New York, so you would benefit from from opening up that market. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I was going to if I had to rate which would be larger uh, for either Cresco Labs or for the industry, New York or, or sort of a federal change, I think you'd have to go with the federal change. You, you, you can't sort of downplay the importance of a state like New York uh, passing adult use legislation. But you know, we'd love to see the SAFE Act uh, make its way through Congress and, and be a, a cannabis related piece of legislation that actually gets uh, gets implemented. So we're, we're you know, optimistic for both. Uh, that's that's the good spot that we're in. What, what's the first thing you do if that SAFE Act passes? You know, SAFE is a, it, it's such a dynamic component, right, because because access to capital has been so difficult in this industry. And again, this is an industry that is the fastest growing industry in America. Uh, increased to, uh, to 320,000 plus uh, full-time employees uh, in the industry last year. That's up 32%. So this is an incredibly fast-moving, dynamic industry that we still have, you know, a hand tied behind our back without access to traditional banking. Um, so the the unlock for a company like us would be, of course, bringing cost of capital down, uh, making it more traditional in the sense of potentially using lines of credit to smooth out cash flow financing real estate capex projects with traditional or more traditional rates than are currently available. But the real unlock here, too, is the, the social equity, social responsibility uh, dynamic of access to capital. As this industry is developing and all of these state laws are being passed that incorporate these inclusive, diverse components to them, access to capital is still the biggest gating issue for anybody to get into the space. Hey, Charlie, it's Tim. Let's talk about some stuff Crespo, Cresco specific. And, and first of all, you, know, you guys are at, in seven of the 10 biggest populous states in the country. You're in seven billion dollar markets. And, and you guys have had a slightly different approach to uh, wholesale distribution and essentially the, the, the wholesale door sale and, and how you're positioning the company in a world where I think the larger CNBC and Fast Money audience knows, you know, understands the CPG story. Cannabis is, you know, arguably the most exciting CPG story for you know many years. Let's put it that way. Um, talk about how you're set up to to take advantage of that. Yeah, could, couldn't agree with you more. And it was really it was one of the few things you know that was really apparent to us when we first looked at this back in 2013. Was cannabis as a CPG product, whether it knew it at the time or not. Um, this was going to be branded and packaged and sort of delivered and in a traditional way that CPG is. So for us, we've always prioritized those middle two verticals of the value chain. Wanted to be vertical, it's really important to own your entire uh, aspect of the supply chain uh, today, but prioritizing that branded product sale is, is critical. And you're seeing it as the industry develops. Uh, these state programs, um, they maintain a tight control on the amount of, of supply and the number of suppliers okay. that are in the space. And points of retail are just going to continue to get more and more and more. It's a great small business opportunity. That's where tax revenue is actually collected is at the register. So we've always had our, our sights on making sure that we created branded products that resonate with consumers and that we get them into as many doors as we can. And we've established ourselves as the largest uh, wholesaler of branded product in the industry. Charlie, great to catch up with you. Good to see you. Thanks so much. Charlie Bachtel. Mm -hmm. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.